in this video I show you uh, how to convert audio to text here so I use here uh, audio from Zia Mahideen in Urdu and then we will convert into a text here a speech to text conversions can be done in uh, many languages and I'll show you in a while and uh, you can get the code for uh, this uh, video with my github account so I have already uploaded the code here so if you just go to my github account youtube and then in the youtube uh, convert other than english urdu uh, audio to text with uh, meta uh, mms ai here and i will also uh, and you can find the link for uh, these codes in the description of this video uh, so we are basically using here uh, the packages from the meta ai which is from speech to text or text to speech here. Okay, so audio to text uh, uh, could be useful for, for example, a lecture recording, conference proceeding, or uh, you have recorded interview for your research and you want to convert into text. So probably like you don't need to take notes and you just record them. And later on you can uh, transcribe uh, uh, or convert convert the speech to text in a written text here okay so first of all what you need to do is uh, uh, change the runtime here so if you ch change the run here uh, then click uh, you, you need to select here GPU so whatever you G GPU you can get so uh, you can get the GPU here okay so okay so the first thing uh, uh, once we have done this this step you have selected GPU then we need to install the packages that we needed here so first we uh, install the PyTube for downloading YouTube video and then we have PyDub for audio manipulation here okay so next step is I I just give the path uh, I just copy this URL here and just put it here so uh, First, we are trying. We are uh, importing here uh, from PyTub this audio segment. So, audio segment is from PyTub package to manipulate the audio files such as slicing and exporting. Okay, so just give this URL here. Okay, and then we are using here uh, YouTube.stream.filter. So, the audio stream of the YouTube uh, video is filtered, and first available audio stream is selected here. And we are giving a path to this content here so content shows this on the whole app so this uh, uh, this path here okay next we do is uh, we load and slice the video so what we are doing here because this is a very long video if we just look at it maybe uh, I don't know over an hour uh, so what I'm doing here I'm just slicing the first minute of this video uh, this audio and PyTub works basically in the milliseconds here so we just take the first minute and then we create a directory here and uh, I call this directory as chunk2 so this chunk2 is created and then this slice is uh, saved here exported to uh, exported audio to the directory so it will uh, use slice underscore audio dot export here and it is saved in the format of the wave format here so once completed, you will see here that the audio dot wave is uh, saved here, right? Next is uh, these these codes are fast to run here, like 15 seconds, so you don't need to be worried for that if you're running. Next, we need to apply uh, a sub process here. Okay, so we give a uh, input file path this uh, chunk to audio dot wave. If we just go here, this is the path we have given here. And now the output path is this one, right? So output is also the same, but we have a given a different name here. So this is Urdu underscore 10 uh, 16k dot wave. Okay. So what we are doing here is this command is uh, FMM uh, pig is uh, open source uh, open source software for handling audio and videos. So what we are doing here is uh, uh, basically we are executing this here. And then we are converting our the inputs or audio into a special format to the desired uh, audio sample rate of 16,000 HC, which is required by our package. Basically, this uh, uh, Mira 
MMS uh, package that you are using here, the library. So once you have done this, so and then run this uh, sub process dot run and then you, we run this here. So this basically convert or uh, the command will uh, resample the input audio file to the sample rate of 16,000 and save it as the output file. So once this is completed here, uh, so it will be saved here with uh, underscore 10 underscore 16k dot a right. So this is the process file that we needed in order for our software to understand this or for our package to understand this uh, this audio okay next step is we create a directory here and we call a directory as tim underscore dir so this will create this directory here okay so this directory is created next is we do we use a git clone command so it basically brings the source code of this from pytorch uh, fair 6 library so we are basically using this library from facebook this fair 6 or sequence to sequence tool kit here uh, it has a lot of details if you want to look at it uh, it has different models uh, asr model uh, and other models here uh, tts model and other models you can find some details here so we are using this library here okay so we just uh, clone this here and it will be saved uh, basically here right Okay, we, we, we have just cloned here, so it is basically fair sick is here. Okay, next we uh, use this uh, pwd command. So this basically uh, prints the current uh, path of the directory here. Okay, then we use this person cd command. So this changes the directory here. So we basically change the directory to this path here. So our notebook is now has the current directory as this one. Right, so this fair sick will change this one. I'll show you like what is, what is the reason it why we are going to do it. Okay, so next we are using here uh, we are installing uh, pip uh, dash dash edit, editable uh, you know this uh, this one here. So this basically uh, shows that the uh, editable flag indicates that the package should be installed in editable mode, allowing the modification to the package source course without reinstalling it. Right, and this represents to the current directory and this is our current directory now and then we install this uh, uh, tensor tensor board DX, probably we are not using it here okay next we uh, is the important part is we need to get the model here okay so remember if you are uh, using like free collab so you can use this model here so if you want to see uh, these model so the detail for uh, these model is given here Okay, uh, let's, let us see, I think it's, the detail is just in the top here. So we have this ASR model here. So we have 102 model, we have uh, this 107 model, and then we have this all model here. So we can use all these three models here. So if you uh, if you're using uh, like th this model needs a high RAM, if you're using free collab, then, then you can use this 102 model. Uh, what you can do is just uh, remove this sign here, this uh, you know comment sign and then you can run this one and then you can just comment this out here if you are running this model here once uh, this is completed here it will take 59 seconds to complete this process here next is we are importing the sub process now we want to apply uh, and then we want, want to convert our so we have audio saved here we have converted to the format that is needed by this package Okay, so once we are done this, now we want to convert this audio into text here. Okay, so these are the commands that you can use it. You can use it exactly as it is. Uh, the only thing that you need to change this is this part here. If you're using a different model, so if you're using this model, okay, if you're using this model, just copy this part here, and then uh, we can just put it here. Okay, or in other words, you can also look at it because. Uh, 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 is if you just go here fair sake and then we have uh, models here and then we if we check new models and then this file is there right so this file and this file is same so if you install uh, a different version of the model so then you will have this uh, 102 in this file here okay so what we are doing here uh, we are just setting you know this environment uh, variable uh, uh, you know 
tmpdir and we are setting all other environment variable is here we are giving uh, you know the uh, we are giving a file path to this uh, this one so odru underscore 10 underscore 16 k dot wave okay so we are giving basically this path here you can also copy and you can all copy the path here you can put it here so this is the audio that we are going to convert into text here okay so next is the if you just click on the uh, if you just uh, uh, so what we are going to do is we are just saving this also here so we are also saving in the uh, current direct in this directory chunk 2 here so output be saved here so like if you complete this process here so if you click this here the output is saved here you can we can just open this one so I, I, I have already run this code here so if we just click you see the uh, conversion of the text is here okay so next is the uh, okay so next what we need to do is the uh, we are just using this command here as examples because we already are in this directory content so we already are in this directory called content fair sake because we already are in this directory so we just use then examples here right so we just uh, we we just use this chunk of code here okay so we are using this chunk of code here uh, if you just go examples uh, you can find here this examples here and with the examples we can find this mms uh, somewhere in here okay so this is mms here and this then we are using asr okay this is the automatic speech organization and then we are using infer and from the infer we are using this one here so you don't need to change anything just uh, leave as it is if you're running on your own okay the only thing you need to change is one thing you need to change is this one here and another thing you need to change if you're using any other language than the urdu language so i'm using audio urdu audio and convert it into the text here so i just copy this one here so if you just go here you find all the language code here right for example if you're using uh if you're using English language, so just then we can uh, check here the code for the English language. So this is the uh, this is the L A N G here, right? So this is the uh, you can check it here. So this would, it would be L L A N G here. Or if you if you if you're doing any other language, so you can also change the code here. So once this is completed here, so then we can see uh, the text here okay so we can see the text here and then uh, it will convert into uh, the audio uh, it will convert into uh, text here right so you can see the text here that it has uh, now converted this into uh, audio here uh, and then uh, next is okay this was just uh, when you have uh, just one minute video so, sorry one minute audio we have just converted the one minute audio into text here next step is I'm going to show you here because uh, this is a very long audio as I show is it is over one an hour so what I'm doing to do is uh, these commands are the same as you have seen previously here so everything is same and we download it only just like one minute audio okay this was just like downloaded here one minute audio no if these codes are the same okay so what we are going to do is that uh, we are download we are uh, uh, all the post is same here i'm just creating uh let me just make it back so what i'm going to do here is i'm creating a new folder called chunk 4 so this is chunk 4 here and i'm taking the first 10 minutes of the video uh we are just taking the 10 minutes of the video okay uh, this audio and then we convert what we are doing is we are dividing all this 10 into 60 seconds so then we will have it means we will have 10 chunks so it just loops through this here all the process is completed here and once and save the file as that uh, dot wave, uh, wave format here we, okay so if you see here if you just go to the chunk here so it means this uh, 10 minute audio is now 60 seconds all this has been converted into uh, 60 seconds here okay so once we have done this uh, next is to uh, convert this to, uh, uh, and also I, I forgot to explain here uh, we have also converted here in the same step because we also apply this format in a way that this uh, 
uh, uh, the, this library can understand so we convert into a 16,000 format this is like compulsory step that we need to do it so this would be saved here so 0 underscore 16 1 underscore 16 all the way all these are saved here okay so we have a last step here uh, and the last step is is the same everything the only thing again if you are using uh, if you are testing these codes and the only thing you need to change is this one here just put one or two here and then the language if you are using a different language here so this will take some time so probably uh, it will it, it will uh, because I use uh, you know a, a larger model so it took almost like 55 minutes to complete the process here so I, I have already done the process one there so uh, once this is completed here so I just let me give you a bit brief overview of these codes here so what we are going to do is that we are uh, creating we are storing uh, the single output to a combine here so this will save here combine output it will combine all the transcript or the written text into one combine underscore transcription dot txt here okay so here uh, we are saving saving it into a different one and then it's combined also there and then this is the sub run process that is uh, doing the uh, doing the inference and converting the audio to text here so once this process is completed so you see here that this is the uh, for separate one if you just look at it for a separate one this is for every 60 second so this shows uh, uh, the conversion to every sec 60 seconds here and this one is just the combine here so this is uh, combine all the text here and uh, you can just read it and and just let me know in the comments that how how accurate this is how good it is or you you can try it on the different data and see how it goes uh, and what is your opinion on it uh, these uh, codes actually I gave you just a high overview of these codes so uh, the only thing would be again just me repeat here uh, if you're using a model you just need to run this if you are not on the uh, free collab if you're using because it requires high, a higher RAM. this model is a big model uh, the only thing you need to change is this part here I just copy there and you can just put it here again if you're using a different language you can use it uh, a different code from the language uh, I'll provide the link also that one for different codes and uh, similarly here if you are if you are going to apply all the chunks if you have 10 minutes audio 20 minutes audio you can do it all but the more minutes you have the more time it will take okay so that's all thank you for watching this video